respected principal, teachers and my dear friends and a very warm welcome to one and all present here. We, the students of Standard 9th, would like to present before you a prayer service on this very special occasion of Vachan Prerna Divas, also known as Reading Day, which is celebrated on 15th October to pay homage to our former late president, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam. He was very keen in reading and writing. To commemorate this day, it is observed as Reading Day so that children understand the importance of reading and are encouraged to develop it as a hobby. Books not only inspire us but also provide us with knowledge. Even though technology may have brought many changes to the way we read, it has only enhanced our ability to get connected to different sources of knowledge through reading. Now, one of my friends would like to throw light on the importance of reading day. Good morning, respected principal, dear teachers, and all my dear friends. It's my privilege today being reading day to address all of you about the benefits of reading. Why is reading important? It is important because it is a habit that can make you a better person. Biographies of great men and women tell us that they became great because of the aspiration which they got from reading. This day is observed every year on 15th October as it is the birth anniversary of our late former president Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam sir who strongly advocated reading as a necessity rather than just a mere hobby. Reading has several merits. It enriches and expands our vocabulary. It helps us to connect with the outside world. And it is definitely a healthy exercise for our mind. Therefore, I strongly urge you to cultivate the habit of reading to derive excellent benefits from it. Thank you. That was a really informative speech. Now, some of my friends would like to present before you a song with their melodious voices. When I'm reading, I'm succeeding. I pick up a book and take a look, my mind just starts to grow. When I'm reading, I feel so free. I'm turning pages, spending ages with friends and on my own. I love to read. I love to read. I love to read. And read and read and read. I love to read. I love to read. I love to read. Uh, and read and read and read, I love to read Any type of book, any type of theme Starting pictures, read the words and find out what they mean Any type of book, any type of theme Starting pictures, read the words and find out what they mean When I'm reading, I'm succeeding I pick up a book and take a look, my mind just starts to grow. When I'm reading, I feel so free. I'm, I'm turning pages, spending ages with friends and on my own. I love to read. I love to read. I love to read. And read and read and read. I love to read. I love to read. I love to read. And read and read and read, I love to read. Prayer is one of the most important things in our life. It is a time in which we communicate with God. When we pray with faith, we express our sincere thanks 
to him. So I would like to request each and every one of you to sit in a posture of prayer. Today's Bible reading is taken from Ephesians chapter 3 verse 2 to 5. Surely you have heard that God in his grace has given me this work to do for your good. God revealed his secret plan and made it known to me. I have written briefly about this and if you will read what I have written, you can learn about my understanding of the secret of Christ. In past times, mankind was not told this secret, but God has revealed it now by the Spirit to his holy apostles and prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Reflection As we reflect on this passage of St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, we are told that God has commissioned countless graces on all of us. We have been granted special protection through the suffering of Jesus Christ. All the gracious offers of the gospel and the joyful tidings it contains come from the rich grace of God. It is the great means by which the Spirit works grace in the souls of men. St. Paul tells us of the riches of God's grace towards us. The mystery of his will to those who abide in Christ Jesus, what it means to be a new creation in him. He also tells us that through Jesus we have direct access to God's house. This was the great truth known to us through the apostles. God calls us to salvation by faith in Christ. Lord Jesus, give us the strength and the grace and the power to understand your plans for us. Help us to do your will in all our day-to-day -day activities. Be our guiding force in all our endeavors. Amen. Your response for the prayers shall be, Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Dear God, be with us today. Fill our hearts with joy. Fill our minds with learning. Fill our classrooms with peace. And fill our lessons with fun. Shower your blessings always on each of us. Your response? Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Thank you, God, for this new day in my school to work and play. Please be with me all the day long in every story, game and song. May all the happy things that we do make our fathers happy too. Response be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Lord, the spread of the coronavirus is happening rapidly and throughout the world. We pray for the healing of those who are sick. We pray for those who have lost their loved ones. We pray for the protection of the people around the world and the stop of this virus. Response. Be exalted, O Lord, above the heaven. Let your glory be over all the earth. I pray for our school, our principal, our vice principal, teachers and all the teaching and non-teaching staff. Lord, help them in the noble cause of teaching. Remove all the obstacles that come in their way. Keep them always safe and under your care. Poetry a literature that evokes a concentrated imaginative awareness of experience or a specific emotional response through language chosen and arranged for its meaning and sound. So now we would like to enlighten you with a poem. Read to me poem. Read to me riddles and read to the rhymes. Read to the story of magical times. Read to me a tales 
castles and kings read to me a story of fabulous time read me a pirates read me a knights read me a dragon a dragon book fights read me a spaceship a boy cow and when when you finish please read them again now one of my friend would like to present before you a marathi speech and shortly after that a presentation of dr apj abdul kalam सर्वांना माझा नमस्कार वाचन म्हटले की अनेक प्रकारची पुस्तके ग्रंथ आलेच पुस्तके नसलेले घर म्हणजे खिडक्या नसलेल्या खोलीप्रमाणे असते खिडकी नसलेल्या खोलीत ज्याप्रमाणे गुदमरायला होते त्याचप्रमाणे जेथे वाचन केले जात नाही तिथे जीवन गुदमरून जाते वाचन सातत्याने करणारे सतत जागृत राहतात आपली प्रगती साधून घेतात म्हणूनच डॉक्टर ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम नेहमी म्हणायचे की वाचाल तर वाचाल वाचन हे मानवाच्या सुखासाठी असते वाचनाने मानवाचे मनोरंजनही होते आपण सर्वजण भगवद्गीता आजही तेवढ्याच पूर्तीने वाचतो म्हणूनच आजही भगवद्गीता आपल्याला प्रेरणादायी ठरते वाचनाने माणूस समृद्ध तर होतोच पण त्याचे मन सशक्त होते आणि हे सशक्त झालेले मन चुकीच्या ठिकाणी नतमस्तक होत नाही आजच्या काळात वाचन हे आपले सर्वश्रेष्ठ गुरु तर आहेच पण वाचनाने आपल्याला आधार सुद्धा मिळतो वाचनामुळे आपल्या भारताला उज्ज्वल संस्कृतीचा वारसा लाभला आहे शिस्त मेहनत स्वावलंबन हे आपल्याला वाचनामुळेच तर प्राप्त होत म्हणूनच वाचन आपल्याला सतत प्रेरणादायी ठरत धन्यवाद the one who lights the path to the impossible and leads those who follow to great heights it is an injustice to conclude this event without calling upon our wings of light our pillars of strength and our constant motivation we cordially invite reverend sister prasanna to come and speak a few words Good morning my dear teachers and students Varyacha jhulkena man sukhavta Jhadacha savlit man disavta Tar pustakacha sanithyat man prakashit hota Today 15 October the birth anniversary of Dr APJ Abdul Kalam 
is celebrated as Vachan Prerana Divas all over Maharashtra. The aim of celebrating this Vachan Prerana Divas or Reading Inspiration Day in schools and colleges is to motivate the students to read, to read books, to pay tribute to Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam who himself was an avid reader. Today, as the times have changed, the mediums of reading have changed, but the importance of reading has not yet changed. As our body needs physical exercises, the same way our mind, the brain needs exercise and that is reading. In a book called A Dance with a Dragon, the author George Martin says that a reader who reads lives thousand lives, but the man who does not read lives only one. When I was a student and whenever my teachers asked me to write an essay, Maza Avarta Chanda, my hobby, and me along with my friends, all of us, we wrote always Vachan, reading as my hobby. Now, as I said, times have changed. And now I, as a teacher, when I ask my students to write essay on my hobby, students come out with the beautiful topics like watching TV programs, playing video games, creating videos on TikTok, searching on Google map. All these are very good, excellent, but reading is above all. Because when you read, you get plenty of reference. When you read, your capacity for critical thinking and creative thinking increases. Your power for imagination increases. So all round development takes place because of reading. As we know that the books are our destination. Books are a journey. Books are a plane, a the train. They are the road. Books are the home. That's the thing with books. So my dear students, read. Read books, read all the references, read poems, read stories, Read books on science, on geography, on different fields. Read plenty of books. Always remember, Vatsal, Tar Vatsal. Thank you and God bless you.